What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to uh, show you guys this one real quick. Share this one with you guys. Got uh, one of my customers came in. He's got a 71 Monty. This thing is done up right. Uh, got it in, electrical issue, brakes, typical stuff. But uh, just wanted to show you guys, you know, I still do work on these older cars. You know, I still do put my old tools to use, but uh, you guys gotta check this car out. Check it out right after this. All right, guys, so like I said, this thing's here. Got some electrical issue, headlight issue, um, a few other things, suspension and brake work we're gonna be doing on it. So, uh, be checking through this thing, but we wanted the guy to give you guys a, a walkthrough on this thing. It's, it's, a, it's a really nice, really nice Monte Carlo. Check it out. We got the interior here. He's got this thing done up right. The dash is actually custom. Lights up blue, all the gauges. He's got the, the retrofit radio on here. Keep it stock looking. You guys know me, I always like that stock, the modded stock look. The AC controls, heater controls. This looks like a work in progress. He's still working on it. He's got the B&M quick shift in there. Pulled out the passenger seat. The Evo steering wheel with the paddle shifts. And it, it, it is hooked up to the transmission and it does work. He's got the high tech uh, carburetor, electric carburetor. So it's pretty much fuel injected. Um, check this thing out, guys. A little tweeter in the door. Audio's done right. Interior looks great. Black. Look at this thing, though, guys. Classy rims, nothing too fancy. It's got the nice rag top on there. All the emblems are there. Body lines are where they're supposed to be. This thing is sick, I love it. I love it, guys. Check out underneath this hood. Look at that front end. Man, this thing's nice. Hang on guys, there's under the hood, nice and clean, got the MSD ignition, there's that carburetor, it's all chromed out, chromed out power booster, master cylinder cap, this thing is slick. So, hood doesn't stay up. Very nice. I'm gonna show you guys underneath this thing. Rims are definitely slick looking. Looks like he's got the, uh, he's got pretty much the Corvette brake system on here. Nice aluminum calipers. Decent tread on the tires. He's got the tubular upper control arm and lower. Nice suspension kit on here. thing is nice everything's been re gone through and redone definitely clean for this area this this guy probably keeps this thing in the garage he does keeps this thing in the garage I, I know the guy I know the customer but give you guys a gander at this this thing's real nice graded line decent exhaust nice headers An aftermarket high output starter it's got on there. It's a transpan. Got his brake lines, portioning valve, all braided. Steel, stainless steel line it looks like. All new hardware bolts for the seat. Aluminum drive shaft.
We have a trailing arm. The diff looks like it's even been done. It's got the sway bar back here. Curry. Nice differential. Brand new gas tank. Nice exhaust. This thing is slick. Man, you gotta get me one. Got the MagnaFlow exhaust. Very nice. Very nice. Love working on these. He's got the Core 3 brakes on here. Drilled rotors. Very nice. Alright guys, so I got this thing all back together. I was able to figure out the headlights. I got them working. He actually had a uh, He's got LED brake lights on this thing, and it was actually shorted out. Actually, some nice brake lights. Back end of this thing looks awesome. But uh, it was shorted out under the dash, going to the switch, the light switch. So I got that squared away, getting ready to test drive this thing. Here it all started up. Exhaust sounds good. But, uh, man, this thing is slick. But yeah, guys, just wanted to share this one with you. Uh, you know, it's just it just proves my point. You know, working on these older cars is uh, something I still do. So it's why it's so hard for me to get rid of some of my old antique retro tools because I still use them. I still enjoy using them. They still make me money. You know, that's probably why. Uh, you know, this guy brings brings me his car as opposed to bringing it. You know, to another shop that may or may not have the tool to get the job done anymore. But uh, just a quick one for you guys. Uh, make sure to check back on the channel for upcoming content. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed. Like, comment, all the goodies. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.